Hello and welcome. How are you doing today? I'm doing good and now I have been work out here that all pistons are in those cylinder tubes and they are we are ready to next next step. And and first I like to show you that what this uh, this engine looks like now when those pistons are in there and it's good to also check that that everything is uh, is in right position because because this uh, when we are assembling engines every part must be in right position otherwise we we have really big problems when this broke engine blow up and becomes dead. Okay, so now now this this uh, this engine looks like in that way and and there is now idea that this area in in here this is this exhaust pipe area and exhaust exhaust manifolds comes in here and there is like this bleeding, coolant bleeding bolt and that means that that this is cylinder number 4, 3, 2 and 1 and there is even number 3 in there and, and then that one in here is number 1 and now we check that that there is also this my symbol in there that it, this means that this is zero basement is that and here is also timing chain and here is this water pump in this area please check and there is ti timing chain okay and then we check that are those simple markings in there okay yes one hole one hole one hole and then there is this last one okay everything looks nice and then be carefully that uh, keep those pistons in that position because if I pull out this or I take out this piston then those piston rings pop up in that that way and there is extra job to work and it's a little bit actually press down this a little bit more down that I can adjust those. Okay, now they are good, and then I rotate this engine block again back. And now it seems that that when when I assemble this this parts more, of course, this engine becomes heavier. But but this is not very uh, heavy engine because this is this is like aluminium block. This is this full engine is aluminium, and it's it's easy to work but of course when we install crankshaft it is uh, steel steel and iron but now this is only quite quite light okay and then I rotate this this engine block in that position and then we have our next job and our next job is that we need to clean out all of these surfaces in here because these must be really clean there is this this surface in here and also in there these must be really clean and for that you need uh, paper or cotton cloth Cotton is always best and you take that position all materials away and, and this materials means that oily or sandy this cleaning is must in this this engine assembly because every small particle is is bad bad for this engine and now I take first these areas those uh, dirty things away and, and there was there was this dirty thing and then there is this small 
small old glue, like in here. That part of glue, what is I take closer picture. And this is this old glue, what we need, we have to take all of these away in here. And it, it goes so that that you need sharp knife and I use that kind of knife for this accurate sharp point and I I just I take my finger in here and I am carefully and then I take this all all materials away because when we install this crankshaft support cover any of that kind of small particle can can generate harm and then also these bolts basement all of these parts and, and also in here there is this this area there is also other glue and all of these away and and then when we have go through this all area like in in this total area we need to clean this I saw that that this area in here and of course then these areas in here and also that that joints in here and and then these areas and and these and and of course in these areas in here and when this is ready then we go and, and please remember also these bolts bolts like in here 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 and all of these bolts where is this glue this sealant glue and also in there there is this glue and carefully throw away all of these parts and 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 next next I start to do that that job that I and, and don't drop these parts in inside in here because if they goes in that area then we they can they can do so that kind of damage that when there is like this bearing plate and and like I like to drop these plastic parts in here that I am so so non quality man then it makes that this this small particle can go in that hole in this way and then we have stuck and then this bearing plate 100 percent destroys destroys and it 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 becomes obsolete in this way and because and and this uh, engine engine uh, these tolerances are are so thick that there is no any space like that kind of particles and in every particle small sand or thing uh, generates problems to our bearings and those uh, those uh, bearing plates okay and now I I clean and I throw that part in trash box and and when I am ready we continue and then we continue to check up with these bearing situations because it's also very in important part and now now I continue my this cleaning job and I noticed that that uh, in here there is more this Dirty things, and and I I I clean this carefully. And please remember, water cleaner and more carefully quality person you are, then better engine you have and you have more mileage. And all things what you can see also in this this. Uh, Inside area, in these hole, holes where oil is going, it's good to clean and, and like in here, because they are bad. Everything is bad to our engine, except this good quality oil, like this uh, 
Exxon oils and mobile oils and also cell and cell oils and, and then when we have those good filters oil filters they clean up like these uh, uh, small particles like in in here when I check there's small things in there this oil filter purpose is to clean all of those small things but of course if we have huge amount of big particles like in I, I take example like in that that part in here then this our oil filter becomes soon stuck and it, it don't filter anymore okay but uh, but now I continue that cleaning and it, it takes time something like 20 to 30 minutes that I clean this this area and, and I take all these these surfaces clean and and then this inside area also and white cotton cloth is best but but I have only white paper what is uh, quite very excellent also but cotton cloth is best okay and thank you for watching and we continue